and then we came back and we we had sex again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. What's up guys? I'm Paige. I'm Holly. And today we're talking about our first time. <laughs> that is not how it happened. You would rip me in two. What she meant to say is we're gonna relive the first time that we ever had sex. We're gonna take a trip down memory lane. Oh, yes. So walk with us, join us hand in hand. Foot in foot. <laughs> Isn't it? It's step in step. Okay, so our first kiss and the first time we had sex were a month apart. Mm -hmm. We waited. Oh, we waited. I, I didn't. I mean, I wanted to wait, but I didn't want to wait. You know what I mean? It was very, I wanted to jump her bones. It was tough. The day I met you. Yeah. So it was a long <clears throat> journey from then to. Then to now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's start from first kiss because we've told you I we like did that. a story time about first kiss. So let's mm -hmm. set the scene from there and we'll go forward. Okay. I like that. So we had our first kiss and then from from there we banged. Right. <laughs> from there, then we um, had two kids. Yeah. <laughs> we were never married. <laughs> it was midterm season, first of all. So a lot of our like excuses to see each other were like, oh, you want to study together? Oh, let's do this. Oh, let's do that. We had like made out and we were kissing and that was just about it. Yes, like, but it was, it always got to a point where it was very hot and heavy. Yes. And then both of us kind of knew. I knew I wanted you and like, I could feel that you wanted me back, but it was like, we want, <laughs> we wanted, <laughs> we wanted to wait. I, I had just gotten out of a relationship. Yes. You had kind of gotten out of something you were in as well. Mm -hmm. So it was just kind of like, it didn't feel right to jump into something. Yeah, we just need a little bit of time. time. Just a little bit of time. A little bit of time. <laughs> <laughs> red stocks for you to trade. <laughs> Yeah, so that was kind of the reason I think why we were more hesitant and for me personally, which was completely unknown to Paige I had never ever been down on a girl before And this gal didn't know that and I was always thinking like should I tell her should I not how should I go about it? For those of you that have been following us for a while, you know that I do have a gigantic sense of pride oh, I didn't know that's what you were going to say <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I have a giant ego that's very inflated and I felt like admitting that I was inexperienced when I knew Paige was experienced would harm that and it's not behavior that I want to promote to other people that were in the same position. There is literally no shame in being inexperienced and I didn't feel shame, it was, it was definitely just pride getting in the way. <laughs> if you remember, you told me before you left that night, your friends were like, is tonight the night kind of thing? You're like, tonight's the night. And it fucking happened. And I'm glad yeah. I didn't know that because I wouldn't have put out. <laughs> I don't know what it was about that, the actual night that it happened. You had your lingerie on. So did you. I know, I was ready for it. I was ready too. And that night they asked me on my way out and I go, I think tonight might be the night. We'll see, but I think tonight could be it. And it was. And it was. And um, mm, that's Paige's thing. <laughs> Not a wind tunnel down there. I did not go. <laughs> Echoes. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, all I know is we were sober. We were at your place. Yep, we yep. had done something like maybe watched a movie or we were studying at a coffee shop mm -hmm. and then came home. Okay. There was just a different mood about it, I would say. So all the other times that we were like making out and hooking up, we knew our boundaries and we never crossed them. It was just that type of mood, I guess. The but boundaries were down. That, uh, yeah, those boundaries were squashed. <laughs> and at that time, like you were saying before, I had no idea that it was your first time. Well, the way that we had talked prior, you thought I was very experienced. Yeah, so Holly is very confident, mm -hmm. and I love that about you. Like, that is one of my favorite things. She kind of talked her way through it, and I, I, I assumed you were very experienced mm -hmm. and definitely had done these things before. And even after that night, I still believed you had done these things before. Okay, yeah, we're hopping around now. So you went down on me first. Yeah. Which I was fine with. No objections. Glad you were to okay that with that. <laughs> I wanted to reciprocate. I didn't feel the obligation 
two. You mm -hmm. weren't like, your turn, let's go. <laughs> it, it wasn't like that at all. If people are like that, run. Get out. Yeah, I wanted to, and I was like, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm like, I'm just gonna kind of figure my way out as I do it. Also, you set the bar very high. <laughs> Very high. Congratulations on that, Thank by the way. Thank you very much. Yes. And I met that bar, let's you did. say. You definitely met that bar. And, and after <laughs> it was complete, um, I came I came back up the bed. I'm very proud. Like, the proudest I've ever been in my life. You did really good. You did a good job. I, yeah, I know I did well. Well done. Yeah, I, uh, I was, yes, well done me. Everyone, thumbs up for Holly. Woo! And I told her right after. You were like, kind of sing about praises a little and I said that's actually the first time I've ever done yeah, that. Yeah, it was something like you that. You laughed. I didn't even believe you. That's what I, I didn't mean. believe you, you at all. Joking. I said no for real. And then then you were like and you kind I was of shook. I think you even asked me if I was okay <laughs> because it's a big deal, yeah. right? No, afterwards I was overthinking it a little bit because I'm yeah. like, you know, just being somebody's first for certain things is mm -hmm. a, it can be a big deal and yeah. I wasn't prepared for it. I mean, it was amazing. Everything was great, but yeah, I, it definitely threw me off guard. I was in the part of my life where I didn't want our sex to revolve around the fact that it would be my first time. Yeah. I was so just ready and confident and ready to dive in. I didn't want to literally. Be, I, I, I dove <laughs> a couple times. <laughs> I just wanted you so bad, and I didn't want you to like coddle me or yeah. like, walk me through. I didn't. That wasn't the kind of experience I wanted with you. I would not change a damn thing. Not to say that if it is your first time that you can't go slow and just take your time with your partner and communicate before. That can actually be a great idea. But I understand like the position you were in and that was just at the part of your life that it was circumstantial yeah. for sure and that's why I say I don't want to encourage that kind of behavior because it totally depends on where you're at in your life where you're at with your comfort around your sexuality and who you're with I also liked that we were sober for it because there were lots of nights where we had been drinking and hanging out as well and, and you know also me came close to doing yes. things but we didn't and I just liked that our first time was sober I felt like we could mm -hmm. enjoy the experience more. Also being able to remember it, you know? Yeah. So do we have any tips for people that are about to have their first time? Being in tune with your own body is probably my number one tip. That's a good tip. Know what you like because then it was really attractive for you to tell me what you like and yeah. then also find out new things for myself. Communication. Communication is Key. And you want to be with somebody that makes you feel comfortable like you're talking about being comfortable yes. If you're with somebody who even in regular conversation or when you're hanging out before having sex isn't making you feel comfortable I guarantee you while you're having sex. You're probably not going to be comfortable with them either Yes, so. another thing would be whoever you're with if suddenly you don't feel comfortable in that situation where you are having sex Or you're about to have sex you can say no and if they respect you They're obviously gonna stop and understand never feel pressure to have sex Sex. What I will say, I do want to tell you guys a story because I do like to be wined and dined before. I want to know that they know they're lucky to have me and I am on my high horse. Like, Subi, what do you want? So Paige and I had had sex and I felt totally respected, don't get me wrong, it's not that. But she, this bitch hadn't even taken me out on a date and I, text, <laughs> I texted her and I was like, um, so are you gonna take me out or what? <laughs> Paige planned a really, really nice night and we went to Milestones, which is yeah. a really fancy restaurant. And we went to see a movie. The Girl on the Train. The Girl on the Train. I still have the ticket to the, the theater. Mm. Yeah, and then we came back and we, we had sex so good. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's our first time story pretty much. Yeah, I think we covered most of it. I think we covered it too. And I know we kind of dabbled in the little like advice on first times and stuff, but I know we get a lot of DMs about one person being experienced, the other person being really inexperienced and the nerves and how to kind of navigate through that. And we would be more than happy to do more of an actual advice video if you guys want, just let us know. You guys send in questions and then we just answer a bunch of personal questions anonymously. Yes on our video, so let us know in the comments Oh, I'd be below. so down to do that. If you guys want to see it, great. Yeah. If not, then we'll just shut the f up and we'll leave right now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, give it a thumbs up, mm -hmm. uh, turn on the bell notification, comment, yes. subscribe. subscribe. Oh my God, the most important one, yes. of course. Anything Buy our merch if you like it. Yep. Check it out, yep. might be a sale soon. We love you guys, thanks for watching, bye. bye.